When you place a control on a form or create an instance of an object, you should immediately give it a new name describing its purpose. Changing a control's name once you start writing code creates reference problems and can lead to hard to find bugs in your program. In this demonstration, you'll see an example of how and why this happens. On this blank form, we add a command button by double clicking on its icon. Note the name for this button, Command 1, shown in the Properties window. If we added a second button, Visual Basic would give it a different, consecutively numbered default name, such as Command 2. Let's add a code statement to this command button that changes the form's caption. We'll double click the command button to show the code window. And assign the string new caption to the form's caption. Now when the command button is clicked, the caption should change. Notice the event that we used for this statement, command one click. Let's run this application and check our code. Notice how when the command one button is clicked, the form's caption does indeed change. Now that we've seen it work, we can close this application and return to the designer. Let's change the name of this command button to something more descriptive, say, command change caption. Now let's run the application again and click on our command button. This time the form's caption doesn't change. That's because the code stays with the procedure name and not the control. Double clicking on the command button opens the code window again, but this time to the command change caption click event. The code statement we added earlier is no longer part of the button click event. Instead, it's moved to the general procedures section of the code window using its original name. We'll discuss the general procedures section in a later module. To fix this problem, we can change the name of the old click event to that of the new one, command change caption click. The code is automatically removed from the general procedures section and added back as an event of the command button. And when we run the application again, we can see that our repair has worked. Now this is a simple example. Imagine a much larger program with hundreds of references to the objects. Changing the name of one or more of these objects can lead to a long debugging session. The easiest way to prevent this is to name your controls when you first create them. It'll save lots of work in the long run.